Welcome, Pisces. I'm back, guys. I know I've been in my A, all right, for a minute. But I have some other things going on that I had to tend to. So now I'm back, okay? So let's talk about November, guys. Let's jump into November. Um, we just got out of Mercury Retrograde. All right, we're into a new moon, a new energy, new phase. So let's see what's coming towards the Pisces for the month of November, okay? Thank you, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Take this reading. Give me a message for the Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, Jupiter. All right. Give me a message for the Pisces, please. All right, Pisces. At the bottom, we have the five of swords okay we got the five of swords so pisces you could be feeling defeated you could be defeated feeling defeated about a connection okay there's a union that could be possibly a disagreement in a union that has failed um maybe this is something that is stuck on your mind you're contemplating on this you're thinking about this you're going back and forth maybe there's a decision that you may regret here okay you're looking back at it like spoiled milk like there's just a situation here that is just like I don't feel like you, it gives you any good vibes, okay? And it's definitely about a connection. It could be a business connection. It could be a romantic connection. It could be a family member, whatever the case may be. I see you looking at this situation like feeling defeated, okay? There may be some jealousy, some envy going on here. They're just feeling a feeling like disagreement, arguments, things just not going in your favor right now. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. There has been a completely, this situation has ended or possibly more than likely needs to end. There could have even been some type of betrayal. We got the Empress here. The Devil. Six of Wands. There was no success in this situation. This situation is toxic, okay? It is giving me bad vibes. It's legit giving me bad vibes. Like, this situation ain't it. This is not it. There's no success here. Maybe you aren't getting any attention. You're not getting what you deserve in this situation. You could be dealing with the Capricorn with the devil here or a Libra or Taurus with this um, Empress card here. Now you got the four of pentacles. I feel like in the past, you could have been holding on to this situation. You need to let this situation go, okay? There needs to be some type of ending. Seven of swords moving ahead. Somebody is still, you're dealing with a, a sneaky person. This person is sneaky. This person is a liar. You, you can't trust this person, okay? Yeah, the world. This situation is over. It's done. It's wrapped. It's, it's a wrap, okay? It's a wrap. This situation has either already came to an end or it is definitely about to come to an end. Definitely, you guys could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn with this King of Pentacles here. Now, we got the Ace of Swords here, okay? You found out some type of truth. There was some type of truth that you found out. Yep, and there's that tower. The outcome is the tower, okay? So, if you haven't found out some type of something about this individual, you're about to find out. Whatever it is, it's going to shake your whole foundation. It's going to shake the foundation that you thought you had with this person. And you're going to find out that that's not really what it is. Okay? The cycle is closing. If it hasn't already closed. Okay? And I see you holding on to this situation here in the past. Like you could have been holding on. Tell me more about this four principles here. The moon. This person could have been keeping secrets from you. Somebody kept a secret. 
this person was keeping secrets from you. And I see an offer. Maybe this person came in with the offer, but this offer came with too many things that were hidden. There's a lot of things that you did not know. But I do feel like the truth either already came out or buckle up because the truth is getting ready to come out. Okay. I feel like for some of you that has already gotten this truth, you stood your ground. I feel like this this person tried to back you in the corner, and I feel like you stood your ground and decided to move on, okay? Some of y'all moved on peacefully, um, and you just looking at your losses, okay? You looking back at the situation like, you know, that's a lot of time wasted. We wasted time, you know? Looking back at it, but, you know, I feel like this, this situation was really a burden, okay? I feel like this situation was a burden. Tell me more about the moon here. Page of Cups. Okay. You may have gotten communication from this person in the recent past. Yeah, lots of communication. And I see that a final decision, because we got the judgment card here. A final decision looks like it was already made in the recent past. So for a vast majority of you, this has already happened, okay? It may have happened during the retrograde, could have happened during that full moon. Somebody got tired of waiting and it needed to end. Somebody was sticking around for money all right, let me see. Tell me why the devil is here. I'm getting a lot of you dealing with the Capricorn. We got the devil and the king of pentacles here. Tell me about this devil. Tell me what's going on. Okay. All right, yeah. This devil here, I feel like you was waiting for some type of truth to come out. I feel like you stayed in the toxic situation because you didn't have all the information. Okay, now we got the lovers here. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but I feel like you you really, really, really cared about this person. Now, you could have been dealing with this person since you were young. Okay, I'm getting like a childhood, uh, childhood, young, like you dealt with them uh, for a long time. Like you've known this person since you guys were children and y'all grew up together. Y'all was building something. For some of you, it could have been um, a marriage even. Feel like that truth with that king of swords you was waiting for the truth to come out before you made any type of moves tell me more about the king of swords please i feel like this person betrayed you Stabbed you in your back, and it's over. Like, it, it's nothing. Okay, seven of cups. Yeah, you found out that this person has some options. Yeah, you found out the truth about this person. And this was your chance. It's like, this was your chance to walk away. Or this was this person's chance to walk away when you found out this truth. Okay? You found out. You were giving your power away. I feel like you were giving your power away to this person. And I want to see. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal. This person betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, left you in the dark. You did not have all the information about this person, about what this person had going on. But this person definitely had other options. Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, it could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. You just don't feel stable in this situation. Like this, this situation is not giving you what you desire, what you deserve, what you need. Yep, to a source. Like it's like a no. Like this, this situation is not offering you. Like it's, it's not stable. It's not stable. But I still see you looking at the situation, like bummed out by the situation. Okay, like looking back at it, crying over spilled milk in a sort of sense. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? It could have been a 
earth sign that betrayed you. You got the sun. Could be a Leo. I see you. I see you like not getting what you want. That you didn't get what you thought. You thought that you wanted this. This connection with this person. But you don't. You really don't. You could have been in separation with this person. We got the four of swords and the ten of pentacles. You could have been married to this person and you guys were in separation. And you found out that this person had other, off had other offers. Yep. The empress and the ten of cups. I feel like you've your challenge is, you know, self-love, pouring that energy into yourself. Um, this person thinking that they could come back and forth. I'm seeing that somebody thinking that they could come back and forth instead of giving you this solid offer of a relationship, of a commitment, of your, your ten of cups. But this person stabbed you in your back. This person could have just wanted to see if you would offer them something, what you had to offer. Why is the six of wands here? There's a lot of spying going on. There's lots of spying going on here. Somebody, <laughs> I'm seeing somebody going going through a glow up after a situation that ended horribly. Okay, but this person is watching you, watching your new beginning. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. It's like somebody is watching you be successful, or you want this person to sit back and watch, watch this glow up, watch this glow up. Cause you you handled me wrong, you handled me wrong, and it could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, why is the Seven of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune. Look at you pouring this energy into yourself. All right, so it looks like the tables turn moving forward. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Page of Pentacles. All right. So there could be talks about finances, money. It looks like, yeah, somebody made a bad decision. So you could be getting some type of uh, message. I'm getting that this person reaches out to you, contacts you, right? And telling you, oh, they made the worst decision. It was a bad decision. Um, for this person, to, this is a third party for sure. For sure. There's definitely third party energy. There's another person in the loop with the three of cups and the three of swords. So somebody is saying like they made a bad decision. Oh, oh, somebody here thought that somebody was going to regret that decision. Maybe you knew this person was going to regret this decision and now they want to come in and build with you. Now they want to come in and work with you. So it looks like this person comes back and comes and tries to communicate with you. I'm getting text message, Facebook message, whatever, email, whatever form. Wow. You're feeling like, no, uh-uh. This chapter has closed. That's how you're looking at this situation. Like, it came to a close. The cycle ended. Yep, two of swords. Maybe you're undecided, okay? Maybe you feel like the chapter is closed, but I still feel like maybe you had a door cracked open. Tell me about the two of swords. You're at a fork in the road, Okay. Three of Pentacles. You're like, you know what? I'm not, this This chapter has closed. You betrayed me. I'm not sure how we could fix this. I'm not sure how, how this could work. All right. So you got this person over here. They're mad. This person that you're dealing with, they are pissed. They're pissed. They're pissed. They're tired of thinking about, they're tired of thinking about how to fix it. This person is pissed because they can't figure out how to fix the situation. Mine's the Knight of Swords here. The Seven of Pentacles. They're being patient. But 
they're mad because things aren't moving as fast as they thought that it would move. Like you're not coming towards them as quickly as they thought you would come towards or you're not um, submitting or bowing down to how they feel like you should do it. OK, so I'm getting them walking away. I'm getting them emotionally detaching themselves from the situation. OK. Mm. This person is a coward. Like I said, that tea that you got, that tea that came to you, tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Mm. Six of Swords. You moved on. Yep, you stood your ground. You stood your ground. You feel like this person made their choice. You're like, okay, you made that choice. You're going to stand on it. Now, the tower is the outcome. Three of swords and the three of cups. You found out that there was a third party. That was the surprise. You found out that there was a damn third party. After this person promised you, you found out. You found out. Maybe you did some investigating. Somebody here wanted a first place, wanted to be first place, wanted a spot. Somebody wanted to be numero uno. And you like, if it ain't if it ain't me and there's other people involved, it's a no for me. Mm. Dang, Pisces. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. That was some tea. That was some tea. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? If you're interested in booking a personal, guys, all of that information to reach me is in the drop box below, all right? I am currently doing new client specials, so if you are new, come on in. We would like to have you as a client over here, um, and we are running deals, all right? So reach out to me, guys, via email, and we'll get you set up. Thank you guys for joining me. All right, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you're new. Click the subscribe button. All right, share with your family and your friends. All right, y'all, until next time. Ciao.